Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my Plan With Me video for the week of September 12th through the 18th. I've decided to do a board game theme. Um, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you know that I am in a meetup group that meets every Tuesday um, to do board games. And it's been about a year now since I've done that, so I thought I would kind of commemorate that by um, doing my monthly spread or my weekly spread um, with this theme. Now I've pulled out this paper pack several times before. It's from American Crafts. It's got a bunch of different um, themes in it. It's got cooking and bank gaming and um, it has like a swimming theme and a. Um, it's the one I did my, it's the paper pack I used for my zoo theme. So Anyway, I really like it, and it's one of probably one of my favorites. I think I've bought four of these paper pads already because I just keep using them up. So generally what I do is I pull at least three colors out and use those three colors to design the layout. So this particular paper, the one with the, all the, the theme of the board games and stuff, that particular paper had several different colors in it. So I decided I was going to pull the yellow, the black, and the red out of that and then use that. And you'll see at kind of in the middle of the video, I'm also going to pull some orange as well. So I have four different colors to work with this week. And really the reason why I do that, it just makes it a lot easier for me when I'm putting in my labels and things to label my week. I'm able to, I like to have the labels match um, the paper. So it just makes it easier if you have a couple of different colors. And that's why probably one of the reasons why I love this paper pack so much is because the different themed paper has a lot of cute different colors and um, it always makes the page really colorful. So anyway, here I am just cutting up the last couple of beads of paper. And then I went ahead and cut out the part where I'm gluing all the paper down and getting it all laid out. So I went ahead and just um, glued everything down. You'll see I kind of laid everything out. And um, then I used some of that happy, it says happy day, um, or I think it says today is a happy day. And that came out of the roll gold, rose gold um, washi tape from Recollections. And I just um, put that down in the bottom there. And then I'm just cutting up with some of these that, uh, little cuts that came in the paper pack. Um, so a couple of them say game night. And then I cut that little card out. And then I'm also going to cut the little card that says wild. And um, I just cut a bunch of those little cards out to use in the, the um, spread as well. Oh, and I use those money ones. And um, I put those on the 15th because that's when I get paid. So <laughs> I thought that would be cute to put it on the 15th. But I do that a little bit later. All right, so you'll see here, see I grab some of the orange. And I do pull it in one more time. So since um, what I like to do is if I do decide to add a, one color, I don't want to just have it on one space. So I am going to also add it to the journal card so it kind of pulls that color in in a different area as well. I like to make sure that if I'm going to have it in one area, I'm going to also have it in another area. But... Um, and I didn't really use a lot of the blue, but the paper had some blue in it. So um, you'll see that there's a little strip of, um, I think it says something like family fun or something like that right there in the middle of that um, Thursday through Saturday, Sunday. Um, that's really the only blue in the spread, but I did accent with a little bit of colors of blue. So this, this page is really colorful. All right, so I wanted to use that paper for my journal card. So what I did was I just took another journal card that I had and I just kind of outlined where a, you know, a typical journal card would be. And um, then I just cut it out of that six by six paper pad. And then I'm, so I started kind of working on my journal card and then I stopped. Um, and then I just decided to move on to um, make, getting all of the, the little pieces glued down. So I wanted to glue down all of those um, little um, cut apart pieces before I actually did my stickers because I wanted to get those down first. So I put those two up there 
and then um, I'm going to put that one there in the middle. And the glue that I was using wasn't the greatest glue, so I grabbed that little tape runner instead. And I think that says family fun or something like that. Anyway, once I get these, these little um, money glue down, I will then glue down the little blue strip that's in the middle of that paper. And I'm actually going to move that to the row below it. And then once I get that glued down, it's going to be sticker time. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my journal card now. And as I said before, I wanted to include some more of that orange um, paper. So I put that little cute fun game sticker on there and um, that came with a collection. And then I um, went ahead and punched it and then I'm going to put that little fun game um, Thing on there once I get it all counter rounded, I'm gonna stick it on there and it's gonna kind of hang off the edge a little bit. But like I said, that's gonna pull in some of that orange so that it'll be on both sides now. And um, I put the tape runner on there, and when I did that, I completely forgot that I was gonna put it on the, it was going to hang off the edge. So when I did it, then there was tape on the other side. So I just grabbed a little scratch paper and then um, put it on the other side so that it wouldn't have tape. Um, I covered up the tape that was hanging off the other side. All right. And then I think I'm going to work. Oh yeah, I put that, I put another sticker on there. Not that one, but I do grab another little sticker from that sticker page and that one right there and I put that there and then I'm going to work on my paper clip and what I decided to do was there was one more sticker in that little pack that had the wild and the skip from Uno and I just traced it out uh, of some cardstock paper and then I just kind of fussy cut it around there and then when I put my Paper clip. I'm going to use my glue gun to get it and here everything together. And um, I decided to use a yellow glue, a yellow paper clip this time because I thought it worked well with that paper. And you'll see here, I just kind of glue that on there and then I'm going to just kind of go around the edges with the glue gun as well to make sure everything is in here down. So even though it's a sticker, it wasn't good enough adhesive to keep the paper clip in so I've always my glue gun always for these paper clips to keep them more secure. And then um so really that's all I had I was able to get done during the meetup that I was at. So I was at my planner meetup and um I was really only able to get that stuff done. So I didn't really plan 
So really this should be called a decorate with me because I really didn't get any planning done. Um, but I will definitely plan and then as usual I'll do one of my before and afters so you'll see what it looks like after the week is up. But that's what it looks like guys and I do have pictures at the end as usual and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!